Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we're gonna try um, Titan One Sour India Pale Ale by Sky Gazer Brewing Company, Raspberry Blackberry Amarillo. Um, I thought Jessica picked this up, <laughs> but she says I picked it up. It is a sour IPA, so I'm guessing I did. 7% ABV. Sour IPA uh, with raspberry, blackberry, amarillo hops, milk sugar, and vanilla. I don't know. He just wanted me to, like, he thought it was going to be good. If it was amaretto with those, it might be good, but it might be okay. I am just not into drinking IPAs these days. I think it's because it's like seltzer and cider season where I want lighter <laughs> things. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. There you go. That looks like if you've had too much soft parade. <laughs> it looks like a smoothie. Um, no head. I would almost sour. call this a smoothie. Uh, Barney purple in color. Thick, thick. Thick. Yeah, you can't see it's through. It's like beet juice is what that looks like almost. That at all. I just... Nope, sour IPA. Huh, okay, smell. I kind of like that raspberry, maybe a little vanilla smell in there. Blackberry, I was almost going to say blueberry. I don't really feel like it smells like much. Like, yeah, I guess your smells a little bit, a little bit more, but. It yeah, like it's smell. nothing, yeah, like in your face, but I think it's, yeah, like a little, I said this in the other one too, like a candied raspberry, I would have said blueberry okay. with a little bit of vanilla in there. Okay. Good taste. This is weird because how is it so tart <laughs> but still brewed with hops? Well, you could put hops in anything. I they don't put know. like three hops in there and then said it was. Well, see, and that's the hard part. What are the hops really doing in this? I, I think with the raspberries, they're going to take over a lot. So do you really see a lot of hops with raspberries or other fruit? I would say no. Um, in my opinion, this is more of a smoothie, a tart smoothie. So yeah. almost like a goza and a smoothie mixed together. I almost feel like it's too sour to enjoy a fruit flavor for me. I don't really I'm taste getting, mine just to make because I'm not getting like a berry flavor. It, it's very light. It, it's nothing like that sticks out. It's okay. It's not. I want it to be sweeter. Well, I know it, that's not the point. It's right. sour, but on my personal taste, I would like it sweeter. That's interesting. It does. It gets the sour factor. Yeah. They got that down. Yep, for sure. Um, it doesn't taste berry berry full for me at all. Yeah, it, it it's it's weird that vanilla's in there. I think everything's in there. It's just. Very light. Nothing's really coming through, and I don't know why. I would have liked to have been a very sour. Right. Like, taste it, you know, been had the sour characteristics with a berry flavor. Yeah. Um, I would go 3.75. I think, I think it's okay. Would I buy it again? No. Would I drink it again? Yes. Okay. And see, I, I mean, like, I would go, like, a three because it's just... I yeah. don't enjoy it. I would like to have seen more flavor. Uh, one of my friends has checked it in. Four out of five. Uh, almost 700 people have checked it in. 4.13. Uh, raspberry sour, blackberry smooth, hoppy. This beer is not hoppy. Nowhere near hoppy. It, That's the only like, thing I appreciate about it. Um, not a IPA in the, the slightest. slightest. <laughs> yeah, fruited sour is what they should have called this. Um, 
But yeah, I still think it's good if you're into beers like this. I would definitely pick it up. I love to try new um, sour IPAs. Uh, Tart and Juicy from Epic is the I best. I actually so like far. that one. Yeah. So, but yeah. So, yeah, pick this up if you're into it. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Cheers.